There's only one place in the world where every step you take and in every direction you look, you find beauty, reveal meaning, and connect with your roots. Israel, the land of the Bible and cradle of Christianity, where it all began, is the place where you can touch the past and be inspired for the future. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Mary and Joseph lived in Nazareth. A visit to the city, its churches and sites, is a journey to the birthplace of Christianity. Here, the birth of Jesus was announced and here he grew up. There are many important sites. The Basilica of the Annunciation, built above Mary's room, where the angel Gabriel brought news of her pregnancy by the Holy Spirit. Miriam's well, and dozens of other churches and convents spread throughout this beautiful city. Here you can really reach out and touch the roots of Christianity. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus. When a shining star appeared in the east, Jesus was born. In the Church of the Nativity, this silver star, engraved in five languages, proclaims the significance of the place. Here, Jesus was born to the Virgin. The Galilean mission has been very much part of Jesus' mission. And seeing that water where he fished, called his disciples, has been wonderful. Here in the Galilee, principally around the Sea of Galilee, is where Jesus conducted his ministry. The whole area includes many places of religious and spiritual significance and rare beauty. Jesus is my father and, you know, he's, he's my everything. Being here where he walked, where he lived, where he taught, it is like being there with him when he was doing it. We sit on this hill like the first disciples and we listen to Jesus. In the village of Cana, Jesus performed his first miracle at a wedding when he turned water into wine. The miracle of the multiplication of loaves and fishes occurred near Tiberias. He lived in Capernaum. Walking where Jesus walked, seeing the Sea of Galilee where he sat, it was just put a real face on what we read in Scripture. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, it comes alive to us. It, it becomes a real place and not just words on a page. Here on the Mount of Beatitudes, he gave the famous Sermon on the Mount. Happy are the meek, for they will inherit the kingdom of heaven. I could feel such a deep presence of God that I have not felt anywhere else. Awesome. It's just wonderful. We're so mm. grateful. From the Mount of the Precipice, Jesus fled his persecutors. And on Mount Tabor, his transfiguration occurred.
The Sea of Galilee and its surroundings provide a captivating opportunity to combine a pilgrimage with a visit to a beautiful area, lush with water and biblical landscapes. Snow-capped mountains full of towns and villages and varied accommodations. From the north to the south of Israel, many beautiful sites are scattered. They are all part of modern Israel. They are also a short distance from one another. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it. Undoubtedly, Jerusalem is the jewel in Israel's crown. The city of faith and hope to countless generations over thousands of years. Jerusalem has a deep and special significance to millions of people all over the world. A wonderful combination of old and new exists in Israel. The Church of All Nations on the slopes of the Mount of Olives at Gethsemane lies between thousand-year-old olive trees. Here, Jesus spent his last few hours before his capture. On Mount Zion, he ate his last supper with his beloved disciples. took his last journey with his cross en route known today as the Via Dolorosa. His journey ended here at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre at Golgotha, site of the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Today, more than ever, the almost incomparable experience of touching the holy places is within your grasp. Let your eyes see, let your hands touch, and let your heart feel. <laughs>